Well, hello, you insouciant long pigs. It is I, Sam of SG1, coming at you for a very special review. And as you can see with your optical sensors, we're doing Generation 1 Dinobots. We have Sludge, Slag, Grimlock, Snarl, and Swoop. Yes, all five of the Dino Boys. Yeah, we're going to be doing these today. Um, as I got him off Temu, uh, I decided that, uh, you've probably seen the video, um, I'm going to do... Uh, all five of them. Uh, he was off eBay, but he is also one of these KOs as well. Um, but, like I say, you can't tell, really. So, um, let's get into it. Um, as you can see, they're all dinosaurs. So, we are going to take a look at, a look at them individually. Starting off with uh, Sludge there. So, so, there is Sludge in his Brontosaurus mode, yes. Now, a Brontosaurus doesn't technically exist anymore um they found it was like two separate uh, creatures or something um and a patasaur and a um something else but um but he's a brontosaurus um yes he's the least complete of the bunch um i'm missing i've got one of his guns i'm just missing his sword and his um um rocket launcher so yeah and funnily suddenly the camera jumped there i don't understand what happened but anyway um yeah so there he is in his dinosaur mode and he's very cool um one thing I do like about the Dinobots is that they're all uniformly the same colours. So there's black, silver, grey, gold, red, and they all just look great together. So I've got some nice details going on. I've got some uh, spines on the back there. Um, I'll take a look at his face. It uh, has no eyes. Um, I'll zoom in on his face a bit there. But um, a bit dusty, unfortunately. Uh, but you can see underneath the... Um, Plastic there, you've got like robotic parts going on. You can see more under there as well. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. You can see inside his, his, his metal teeth there. Sludge gets no love. Yes, they are um, a bit rusted in there. Um, but I have had, and he's broken here as well. One of the clips that clip his, uh, the dinosaur head on and he's missing a rub symbol. But I've had this guy since I was a kid. So, you know, since 1985. Um, yeah, so... We've got some nice moulded details going on in there, like hydraulics and stuff like that. Um, some, uh, but the only other thing about this one is he doesn't want to fit together very well anymore. Bless him. I mean, like he, like I say, he's nearly forty years old, um, <laughs> and he's still doing it, still kicking ass. Sludge gets no love. He really doesn't. Um, so in terms of articulation, then um, his his head can move up and down, and his jaws can go up and down as well. So he can go. Miss Lodge, no like it. Um, his front foot will go forward or back a bit, but they are hindered by these, but these will become his uh, forearms in his robot mode. His back legs can move forward, move backwards. They can move there as well, but that's more for transformation. Uh, but that's it, unfortunately. Um, but you didn't need much articulation when you was a kid, you know? Oh, and he can eat, eat on the ground as well. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Like I say, the, the clip has broken over the years. I've tried blue tacking it. You know, but there we go. Come on. There we go. And there he is in his robot mode, a beast mode. Um, it's very nice. So we'll take him to robot mode as he's wanting to. So what you do first is, focus, there we go. Move the back foot in and like that, and it'll, and it'll just fit into that nice little cavity there, which is very nice. Same on the other side. Rotate that in, push that in like that. So there we go. Then we split the tail, like so. Then we split the what will become his legs from the uh, from his wings there, uh, if it wants to. This is really tight, even after all these years. There we are. Oh, I nearly thought I broke it then. Rotate these down like that. Then you rotate him at the waist here. You can rotate those up like that and then once they're up you keep that blue and uh, red bit there and then you just angle these back down like so same for this side like so one good thing one the other thing about the dinobots is is they all share a uniform transformation mostly um which is very cool as well um so then we split these up and like so oh, first of all we come to the back here we Pull out what will become his arms, like that. Then we pull out his fists, thus. We rotate these up like that. Pull that back. Rotate these around like that. And then pull out his arms, 
like so. And there is Sludge in his robot mode. And Sludge really gets no love. And he's one of the coolest Dinobots, I think. Because I like the fact that he's, he's thick as pig shit. And, uh, and, and he's great. Um, you'll notice these, all the Dinobots have these cockpits. Because they are supposed to be piloted mechs in um, oh, Diaclone. Diaclone. But the Dinobots. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at his, his face there. He's got a really good face sculpt. Um, yeah, the Dinobots were like the, the, the only almost toy accurate um, um, designs for the cartoon. Um, God, he's covered in dust, bless him. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's seen a lot of action, this guy, over the years. Like I say, I've had him since I was a kid. He has got, um, they've all got um, toy hacks on them. Um, except for Swoop, because I've ordered a set and they haven't turned up yet. Um, so I'll zoom that back out like that. But yeah, it's really cool. I really do like it. Um, in terms of articulation, again, these are probably the better articulated uh, G1 toys you can find. Um, particularly in the first couple of years. His arm will rotate. It should rotate 360 degrees, but it's hindered by the kibble there. And I don't want to force it, but they will do that. He can bend his elbow in like that. Um, that's part of the transformation, so he can he could do that. Um, he can rotate at the waist. He can bend up at the knee, bend back, bend out, bend at the knee. So he's got quite a lot of articulation for a G1 figure. Um, yeah. So like I said, I am missing his uh, weapons and stuff. Um, I do have this weapon for him. Uh, oh, it's got proper dirt on there. I didn't, didn't even notice. Yeah, so it was in fact a pe an ancient piece of chewing gum, which I can't quite get off. I'll have to get a, think of a way of uh, getting off there. But he's got a nice gun. Um, for years, I didn't know which whose gun this was. Um, it was just one of those extra guns, but it sludges, so he can hold his gun like that. Like I say, I'm missing his sword. But if anybody... In Ooh, don't throw it, sludge. Um, but if anybody in internet land has um, an extra gun, an extra sword... Feel free to send it to me. Um, so there we are. Um, he's pretty cool. I really do like him. Um, so we'll put you over there at the back there. <clears throat> Next up is Snarl. Yes. Now this was a uh, TF Nation pickup. Uh, was it last auto assembly? I can't remember. It was either the last auto assembly or the first TF Nation. Um, I think um, I could have Toifu for a, an absolute steal. So, uh, he's one of my favourites. Well, I do like Snarl. Um, I do like the Stegosaurus and all this chrome. He's a bit rubbing off, though. Uh, yeah, there is a problem there. I'll get onto that in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a bit loose, bless him. Um, he's missing a bit of his tail there, which is, you know, it's okay. But, I mean, again, this toy is, like, 40 years old. Um, you know, I mean, the only other option is get a Timu one, um, but... I only got a Timu for Swoop and Snut Slag because they are hard to get, especially in reasonably good, reasonably good condition. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's really cool. He's a, he's a Stegosaurus, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so, okay, I'll address this now. His, his arm, his, his leg should have clips on it. This one has one, but it doesn't want to stay in. So Because these are on springs, his fists, you see. So it's supposed to go up in there, and you're supposed to lock into lock into place. But again, over the years, this one doesn't want to play. But it's supposed to lock into place. But if you stand him up and don't move him, it's fine, you know, because it can't go anywhere. But if somebody starts moving him, he falls down. <laughs> so yeah, he's pretty cool. Let's zoom in and take a look, a closer look at his detail. He's got a lot of detail going on. There we go. Yes, he's scratched to hell, but then, you know, like I say, he's a 40-year-old toy. You've got some nice details going on in there. You've got some... I love the metallic-looking vacuum... vacuum metalized uh, chrome on his spines uh, that run all the way down to his tail as well. Um, oh, I just don't want to fit together. Come on, you little bastard. Um, you've got some sticker details there, like wires and pistons and uh, technology parts um, for in there as well. Um, the rub symbol. I don't think this rub symbol works. Let's just double check because sludges is long gone. I mean, I had this back in the day as a, as a kid as well, but it one of those that disappeared into the ether. 
No, it doesn't want to work. Let's try it again. It is very cold today. It's very cold in here. Um, no, it doesn't want to work, unfortunately. Um, let's take a look at his head. His head's really cool. Again, it's very much like sludge. It's, it's, it's transparent with like robot parts inside. You've got some nice big red eyes there and a very, you know, pissed off looking mouth. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there he is in his um, in his Stegosaurus mode. Um, let's zoom this out so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Um, in terms of articulation, he, he can rotate the wheels, the wheels, the legs at the back there. He can with the, the forelegs as well. You can rotate bend the forelegs back as well but they are very tight very very tight but that's about it unfortunately uh, you don't you don't you're not going to get much articulation out of this guy in his dinosaur mode but he does look really cool uh, it's one of my favorites actually so because these want to flick up and let's transform him so what you do first is you flick them open right so his hands are hanging down like that then you pull him apart like that then you get his four legs, you pull them up and rotate them round, and they're on like a spring. So when you get it into the right place, it just pops back in. Are you ready? Watch. Like that. Uh, it didn't do it then. Because I'm on camera, you see. Let's see if we can do it on this side. Yeah, you can pull it up like that and rotate it round. There you go, that's what you're supposed to do. Then you pull it down, rotate his legs round, so you've got this position. You split the head, his dinosaur head open like that. And then you just slightly pull out his leg, it, it, just up here, and then you put, rotate that round, and then you slide, slide his leg over the little um, nub in there. Same for this side. You rotate that round, and then you rotate them out, so you separate the legs up a bit, and then you put his legs back. You've got a little groove um, just in here, I don't know if you can see it, and there's a little, um, a little, um, you know, lip there, and he just fits over that, and it should lock into place, but because he's, like, an ancient, it's not going to do it, and you've got some paint damage there, which is a bit of a shame, but it's on his on his ass, so you can't really see it. Rotate his arm, what will become his arms forward, like so, like that. Then we, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, there we go. And then what you do is you get come to the back, you split the tail in half like that, get this section, rotate it all the way back like that, and before you put it all away, you pull out his head, and there he is. The old desert warrior himself, Snarl. And he is cool. I like Snarl. Um, yeah, so there he is in his robot mode. Very nice indeed. Um, like I say, he's a bit wobbly, but like I say, he's 40 years old nearly. Um, you know, I'm 45 this year, so I can relate. <laughs> yeah, um, there he is. He's pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at his face. He's got a really nice face sculpt. He's sort of jolly as well. He's kind of happy. Um, come on, focus, please. There we go. Um, I like Snarl. He's cool. And then you've got, again, you've got the, uh, the cockpit for the Diaclone, which mine doesn't want to open. So, no. We're not going to, we're not going to try it. But, yeah, there he is. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. Um, like I said, all these all the stickers are um, toy hack stickers, so that's no bad thing. Again, in terms of articulation, then we have, if I keep the camera fucking still, um, his arms will rotate, should technically rotate 360 degrees, but they're hindered by both this bit of kibble and that bit of kibble, and that should stay down. You can rotate him out of the ways, but you've got to lift him up and do that. It's a bit, so technically, no, it's more for transformation. His legs will, if they stay support, that is. You can rotate them a little bit to the back, a little bit forward, nothing in and out, and then you can bend at the knee. But again, all his articulation back from the arms are for transformation. So, yeah. So he does have some um, weapons. He's got this um, rocket launcher, which had a missile in, but I lost it, which is a bit of a shame. And you can connect that to it. You should have done this in dinosaur mode. You can connect it to his, his arm there like that if you wanted to. But I don't. He can no, he can't hold this one. Um, he comes with a uh, rather nice gun with a little bit of tubing going on there. Um, will this fit on here? No. You've got a hole there. It looks like you put something on the gun on each side, but but no. Um, yeah, and then he can hold his gun thus. And then he comes with a sword. Now, if I can remember which one his is, there it is. It comes with this nice sword, which is very nice. Um, yeah, it's a bit beat up, but, you know, age and all that. 
Um, I kind of like it kind of replicates his um, spines a little bit, which is quite nice. And then you could put it in his hand like that. And there he is in his robot mode, all tooled up. He's very cool, isn't he? Yeah. Everybody loves the Dinobots. If you don't love the Dinobots, something wrong with you. So we'll put him over the over the back there next to Sludge. Next up is Slag. Yes, I'm calling him Slag. I don't care what people say. If I get shit comments in the uh, um, in the comment section, I don't care. His name is Slag. Um, and Slag, yes, means promiscuous woman in the UK, but it also means um, the um, residue of, um, of welding. Um, you know, the, the bit of the metal that they scrape off the top is called Slag. Uh, while it's molten, yeah, so Slag. Anyway... He's a Triceratops. Very nice Triceratops indeed. Um, you've got the clear head and then you've got the clear tail. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. You've got some nice uh, um, nice thr frill going on there. And you've got some nice uh, horns which move. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, me slag. No like anything. I can't even do it. <laughs> Uh, let's take some look at some close look at some details. You've got some um, technology sort of things going on in his legs there. You've got some more um, silver details going on there. Again, this is one of those. This is a uh, KO. Um, rub some don't want to work. Um, you can also, also see you can snap. It snapped in there. Yeah, the this has um, uh, toy hacks on it as well. Oh shit, dropping it. You got a really nice head sculpt there. You've got some nice. Uh, they can see his eye there. You've got some nice technical details going on inside there which looks really cool um i think no oh yeah his cyclone driver goes in there uh you've got the same thing with his tail you've got some tech details going on in his tail there um which is really cool and these are really awesome triceratops you know i mean what's cooler than a dinosaur a fucking robot dinosaur you know um so in terms of articulation he can move his legs back and forward but they're on like a bit of a ratchet he can move his forelegs back and forward as well same with his forelegs no his ankles i guess those are forelegs you can move them back and forth but that's about it um he can move up in his mouth you know and he can breathe fire because i'll try ceratops too or he can shoot lasers from his from his horns there um everything he does in the cartoon and that's about it really but he's really cool um as a ko if you handed this me and said this was an original, I'd believe you. That's how good these are. Um, there are things that there are. I I know, like the plastic quality isn't great, but it's 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 fine. You know, to stand on a shelf because to get a mint slag is um, quite difficult these days. So um, so let's take him to robot mode, shall we? Let so you just lift the tail out the way a bit like that. Then you rotate his forelegs into there like that. Then you get these sections here, these wings. You lift these up to get them out of the way. And then you rotate the legs. You just kind of separate them a bit and rotate them. Uh, and then you've got to get this out of the way up there like that. Just get, let's say, a bit of clearance. So for this side, you slide his leg out like that. And you slide his leg out just a touch like that. There we go, separate his legs up like so. So we're in this position. And then um, you just position the tail however you want. you just got to get it out of the way kind of tail. So I just tend to do that. And then last but not no means least, you pull out his little fists like so. And then you pull down his mouth and reveal. And you position his horns like that. And there is Slag in his robot mode. And he is cool. And he's an angry little fella. He's just awesome. I'd like him as well. You know, um, I'd like I said, never had a Slag before. I mean, I got this ooh, about two years ago, I think now. Um, so I'll take a look at his face there. Look at that face. He's got a really angry looking face. It's really cool. Well, a slightly miffed face, which is equally as cool. There's a nice gold going on there, nice big Autobot patch there. You've got some nice, I like the two tone colours here. You've got the, the sort of red, and then you've got like a darker red there. Um, but it's a bit scratched up, unfortunately. But I got that, that was out of the package. 
nothing you can do, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's zoom it out. And he's really cool. Like him. So, yes, and I did notice it wasn't until I'd actually applied these I noticed they're on the wrong fucking way. But, you know, I am bothered. Um, you can rotate his arm up to about there and back to about there. And that's about it for articulation. His legs ain't going anywhere, but you can bend him at the knee. But that's more for transformation. Yeah, um, he's the least articulated of the bunch. Um, he's all slaggy here. Uh, come on. Come on. Why won't you come all the way out? There we are. That's it. Um, yeah, so he comes with these weapons. He comes with this rocket launcher um, with missiles that don't fit, which is weird. Um, so you put that on his arm. You could put that in his dinosaur mode, but I like to put it on his robot mode. Um, well, I don't really, but you can do it out like that as well. And he comes with probably the weakest of the swords, which is a bit... This is a bit stupid, this sword, quite honestly. Um, it's sort of bulbous there, and you've got like a bone shape going on there. This is the weakest sword. Now, he doesn't like to hold his weapons very well. Um, what I'm going to do is he's going to get some clear nail varnish and just put an uh, almost dry rub it round each of these to make him a bit more... Um, I'm saying that, you know, a bit more tight so he can hold them a bit, a bit more efficiently. Actually, he holds his sword in that fist quite nicely. You have to hold it that way because of the way it's designed. Uh, and then he comes with a gun. Uh, when I can find it. Ah, yeah. He comes with a silver gun. He comes with this one. Probably the weakest gun of the whole bunch, quite honestly. Um, but it's the only one in, in, so, in chrome anyway. But it's quite a nice gun. And you can hold that in this hand like so. And you can see how loose it is just by flicking it about. Which is a bit of a shame, like I say, a bit of clear nail varnish on there will sort that out a treat, so, um, yeah, so there he is, there he is Slag, and we'll put him with the others just for now. Now, we're going to take a look, now, we'll take a look at Swoop, yes, um, who is a Pteranodon, um, here's Swoop. Um, yeah, like I say, this is my recent Temu acquisition, um, who is rather cool, actually. Uh, I've never held a swoop before, before I got this one. I've never even seen one at TFN or, or Assembly or any other convention. Um, but I'm so glad I own it, and he's, he's just so cool. He is very fragile, but then again, he was anyway. Um, but he's some nice weight on it. This is all die-cast metal. Um, you know, some really cool stuff going on. So there's Swoop. Uh, you can put him in his um, flight mode and he can, you know. Um, in terms of articulate, let's look at some details first, actually. Um, we've got some nice chrome wings. These wings are fantastic. Yeah, you can see the rub symbol isn't a, isn't the best on this one. But repo labels, um, uh, Toy Hacks do some repo labels, um, which they do these as well. Um, yeah, this is the American uh, Western release one because of the the Japanese one has pointed tips and this one's slightly slightly rounded. Um, again, you've got some nice detail going on there, like sort of turbine things going on. You've got you know um, weapons, you got laser cannons there. Um, lovely sort of you know the the implication of fingers, you know, and the because uh, that's where the bones would be. That's why it's called dactyle, you know, pterodactyl type. You know, dactyl means finger, um, so yeah, it's like long finger. But this is a pteranodon um, because of the shape of the thing, shape of the head crest there. Um, got some, you know, boosters going on. And on the underside, you've got, again, you've got, oh, you've got a stamp there. Let's have a look. Ooh, Takara. Um, 1980, 1984 Japan, which is a complete lie. <laughs> and then you've got some more tech details going on there. With some, like, um... You know, vents going on. You've got some really nice, really nice sculpted detail in there. Now, one thing I do don't like to do with Swoop, even though I've only had him like a week or so, is you can put the missiles on his wings like so. Like so. And he can have that going on, which is pretty cool. Um, after all, he's a, he's a bombardier. But that doesn't want to stay in there very well. I might have to... Make that hole a bit bigger, but it does the job, and he's he can fly in. Um, take a look at his head sculpt, all clear. Um, I guess 
this would be where the diaclone driver sat, but there's no room for a diaclone in this one. Um, yeah, now you see now, like I said, you can tell that these, these used to be diaclones, particularly on swoop, because you can rotate these out like that, you get landing gear, and if you go in here, just move his chest out a bit, it's almost almost transform him, and that is really tight in there. Let's move out of the way. There's a third landing gear, and you need extra help, so we'll just get these out to get this out. And then you can land him, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so he's got landing gears, because, you know, all pterodactyls do. Let's, let's put that one on. Oh, that one fits better in that one. You know, uh, and then, yeah, it's pretty cool. So in terms of articulation, then, he can move his head up and down, and he can open his beak like that. And, yeah, he's got the slightly bulbous nose on the beak. Um, and then his wings can move up and down slightly as well. But that's it in dinosaur. But you can, you can stand him up like that as well. So you can have him stood, you know, um, or you can have him in flight mode, which is pretty cool. So we'll just take these off for now. And then... We will transform him, yes. So what do we do first? First, we rotate these back like that. And this this side is really, I don't know, not yet. We don't do that just yet. I forgot we've got to take these legs all the way down like that. And all the way down like that. And then you rotate into here. And these just, if you can get an edge on them, come on. There we are, pull out his feet. I had to, these were exceptionally tight. I had to slightly un, uh, unscrew them just to make them a bit looser. So rotate that. And then we get the wings and we rotate them in like that. And this one always is scary because it stops and you've got to really push it. There we are. I think the more you do it, the better it'll be. Come to the front and then you rotate his chest all the way out like so. I had to unscrew them as well. They were really tight. Uh, pull out his arm and then you pull out his forearm. Same for this side. Pull out his arm. Pull down his forearm, and then you rotate his head, head all the way in there, and then you close it up slightly, and then you get this bit, pull it out to reveal his head. And there is Generation 1 Swoop in his robot mode. And he looks cool. He's not as big as the others, but he doesn't have to be to be cool. You know, um, like I said, Temu also provided the blue version of this as well, which I'm considering getting as well. Oh, he's pissed, he fell down. Uh, and you can tool this mofo up as well. Right, so what we do is, before we actually have tool him up, we'll take a look at his weapons there. These are his launchers. And you press that and they do fire. There we are. Not hard, but they do fire. Um, so you've got the missiles launchers there. So you can hold one of these in his hand like so. And then you can put the other one on the wing out of the way or you can make him dual wield but then where do you put his sword Down there. and then he comes with this sword which has got like a um, like a handle almost like a bat left um which is very nice you've got like tech details going on there as well um yeah it's very nice and you can hold his sword like that and there is sludge all tooled up and ready for battle He's really cool. Let's have a close look at that head. We didn't really have, have a look at the head, did we? Um, go on, zoom. Yeah, he's got a visor look. Yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That's why I love Generation 1. I love Generation 1. Well, because I grew up with it. That's why. Now, I don't... Every, gen, every generation somebody's Generation 1. But you can't badmouth Generation 1 for its crudeness. It was the 80s. Come on. So we'll put Swoop next to Slag there. And, and finally, the leader of the bunch, old Grimlock himself. Oh, here he is in his T-Rex mode. He just looks fucking cool, doesn't he? Um, and even, I mean, he's got one of those transformations that um, he just stands the test of time because the masterpiece, the studio series, and every version of Grimlock that's ever come out ever has basically been the same transformation. And like I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, innit? It's one of those types. Um, and he's just fucking T-Rex, isn't he? Um, when they thought T-Rexes stood up like that, but it turns out... But you can actually do it in this, to be fair. You can have him stood Jurassic Park mode, you know, um, which is cool. You know, and he, and he holds, and he stands really nicely. 
again, it's another one that I've had since I was a kid. My nana and grandad bought me both him and Sludge over there back in the day for my birthday, I think it was. Um, yeah, he's got his Diaclone. Um, oh, there's his missile. Ah, oh, I wonder where that had gone. <laughs> That's handy to note. He has a missile. We'll look at that in a minute. Yeah, so he's got um, a cockpit there, which is quite nice. Close that up. And then we'll just put him back to there. He's got some really good details going on. His eyes are a little bit worn. Um, you've got the Autobot symbol on the top there. Uh, you've got the, the same thing as Slag and Esnal, Slag and Sludge. You've got the metal robot parts going on underneath the clear there, but only just on his neck and some here. Um, but one good thing about this guy is, no, in fact, all of these guys, there is no robot kibble. You can see where the legs are going to be, but other than that, there's no robot kibble at all. There's nothing to suggest that turns into a robot, you know. Um, in terms of articulation, his arms will move, but the T-Rex arms, so they don't really do anything, and they are really tight. Head can move up and down. He can open his jaw quite wide. You know, he can go, me, and I'm... Me Grimlock, not Dino. Me King. Or oh, words to that effect. <laughs> His legs can move up and down, but they're really tight, and he can sort of bend at the at the ankle as well. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. And what's that come out? Bit of, bit of shit. Um, yes. So um, you can get his missile. I can find his missile launcher, and then you put the missile in thus like that. Which is, you've got this thing going on. Uh, you can, I don't know if this is, you can, you're supposed to do this, but it does fit on the side of his head and looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not supposed to, I'm, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but it's the only place it fits in uh, dinosaur mode that I can tell um, because that hole's too big, don't fit there. You can attach it to the side of his head, but why would you, you know? Dinobots need no weapons in this mode, do they? Because they're hard enough anyway. So, to transform him, what do you do? Well, firstly, you split the tail, very much like Sludge and sl Snarl. And then you pull down his, you get his legs, and you pull down his legs thusly, like that. Then you get his dinosaur head, and then you take it back like that, open out the wings, his chest to be found wings like that, get this whole section here and rotate it up like that and then you get what will become his hands, slide them up like so, and you get his waist put it up like that, I can do the splits and then do that, and there boys and girls is me Grimlock in dinosaur mode uh, in robot mode and he looks fucking badass don't he I always love this guy. The only thing, though, is his head... Oh, he's drunk. <laughs> the only thing, though, with this guy, that I, I think, his head is a bit too far back. There should be a slider that slides that forward to here. But, you know, it is what it is. It does the job. And he, he's fucking pissed today, isn't he? Come on. Come on, stand up. Stand up straight, you fucker. Come on. Come on, stand up. There we are. Didn't want to stand up then, did he? Um, let's look at his head. His head's very nice, very G1 head with his red eyes there. Um, and we'll zoom this out and thus. And he's just fucking badass, isn't he? I do love Grimlock. Everyone loves Grimlock. Um, and he can rotate his arms 360. He should be able to, but be but because of the kibble, they're kind of hindered. But they can rotate like that. And his knees will bend and his legs can move forward a little bit and out and that, and that but it's mostly for transformation. So yeah, he is cool, and let's tool this bad boy up. And he won't stand up today. Why won't he stand up? So like I say, he does get the missile launcher, but he can hold this as well. But it does does it fire? No, not really. Just lets it go. Oh, it does fire a little bit. Um, yeah. So you stay put. Yes, so he comes with his trademark double barrel blaster, which is very cool indeed. Very cool, so we give him that in this hand, and he can wield that until the cows come home. And then he gets his iconic sword. Now this has been chewed on. Um, it's been seen a lot of battles, this guy. There we are, you can see that. It's been seen a lot of battles over the years. 
Um, but that's not a bad thing, is it? And he can hold his sword like that. And yeah, there it is. There is all the Dynabots in their robot mode. Um, well, there we are. So thank you for watching me uh, talk about the Dynabots for uh, 35 minutes. Um, if you're still here to the end, please um, give a like, give a subscribe, and give a share. Uh, if you think, and hit that notification bell to tell me I've got new videos out. Um, big shout out to all my, new, all, all my subscribers that have been here since day one. Thank you so much. Um, big shout out to all my new subscribers. Um, thank you for, for your um, subscriptions. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, check out my Patreon. Um, if you think I deserve it, check out. There's some cool rewards over there. And um, a big shout out to all my patrons. Um, thank you for, for your support over the over all these all this time. It means so 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 much. So thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>